Hello everyone, here we talk about the contingency table. An example is showing on the screen. In this table, we have two variables. One variable shows in the first uh, row the title length of service. We can consider the background as a uh, about the employee in the company or uh, executive managers in the company. So this is a survey results being collected. And this variable is about how long the worker or employee or the managers work with this company. That's the length of service. And we have four different categories being listed. Less than one year, one to five years, six to 10 years, more than 10 years. So these four categories also can be said for possible values for the variable length of service. And then we have another variable called loyalty. Loyalty has come from the original survey, uh, the question ask uh, the person what is it going to do? in the future. Is that person going to stay in this company or that person is thinking about leaving this company? So that's a yes or no for the question. For loyalty, the variable has only two possible values, yes or no. So it's a remain or staying in the company or not remain, not staying in this company. And we also have all the label being settled for each category. Say if the person answered yes, we use A1 to represent it. If the person answered no, we use A2 to represent it. Similarly, if the person worked for the company less than one year, we use B1 to represent this situation. If the person work between one to five years, we use B2 to represent this situation. Similarly, we have B3 and the B4. And then with this number showing in this table, they are called joint frequency. For example, the number 10 at the beginning. That means 10 people, they work for the company less than one year and they answered loyalty with yes. So there are two variables in this table. And we have all the joint frequency listed in the table. This kind of table is called a contingency table. If we have all the total being calculated and showing in the table like this, so each row we have the total and each column we have the total. And the bottom right corner, the number 200, which is the overall total for the table all the joint frequency together, which is 200. That also says how many employees being surveyed, how many answers being collected in total. So it's 200. The contingency table is very typical situation and we can use this table and figure out all kinds related probability. For example, we can find out the following probability from this survey. How much chance randomly pick up a person, this person will have answered yes, going to stay with the company. So we use the 120 divided by total number 200. Since we collect the answer 200, 
and overall in these 200 we have 120 people answered yes so that clearly give us the percentage 60 percent this 60 percent we also call the marginal probability earlier we mentioned 120 being said as marginal frequency similarly 40 percent would be the chance for the people to leave the person answered no and also we can find out probability of b1 that means how much percent of the people they work for the company less than one year or you can say randomly pick up the person from this survey how much chance this person work for the company less than one year the answer is 17.5 percent similarly we can get probability b2 probability b3 probability b4 they are all marginal probability and we can see that they come from each column total divided by the table total and we can get a joint probability for example probability a1 and b3 that means randomly pick up a person how much chance this person answered yes staying in this company and at the same time this person worked for the company for six to ten years that is a1 and b3 we directly pick up the joint frequency 5 divided by the table total give us the percentage its chance as also probability now we use this table try to answer following questions first randomly pick up a person the person would remain and the person work for the company more than 10 years so that means a1 and b4 so that's joint probability we're, we're looking for 37.5 percent second the person would remain or has less than one year of service here we are handling or situation not joint this is inclusive so it's a1 or b1 we do not get this information directly from the table but if we apply the probability rule for addition this is the general rule the formula always true p1 or a b1 can be said probability a1 plus probability b1 minus probability a1 and b1 for each one so marginal probability marginal probability and joint probability we can get all those information directly from the table we finish this calculation give us 0 0.725 that is the answer for this question 72.5 percent question three for the person who served the company less than one year what is the probability that the person would remain so for this one we should realize for the person who served the company so we do not talking about talk about randomly pick up a person for the from the 200 we only talk about for the person who served the company less than one year 
So this is being said as condition. So the question is conditional probability. So the condition is B one. We only consider B one for the person who served the company less than one year, and we have thirty five people in total in this category. So we only consider this thirty five people. And how much chance in this thirty five people? The person answered, "Yes." Here we go, twenty eight point five seven percent. We simply use ten divided by thirty five. That's the whole idea. The question clearly set the situation. Again, question four: For the person who chose to remain. Clearly, another condition for the person who chose to remain. So we only consider for those people who answered yes. How many we have? Total is 120. So we are not talking about 200 people. We are talking about 120 people. In this 120 people, what is the probability that the person has served the company more than 10 years? So 75. Divided by 120, we come out 62.5 percent. This is also conditional probability. Question five: What is the probability that a random selected executive has done service five years or less? A random selected. So here we are talking about the whole table from this two hundred, but we have asked the questions less than、uh, five years, five years or less. So in that case, in the table, it contains two categories: the first column and the second column. In this case, we should put them together, divide by two hundred, give us. Forty percent. Question six: For the people who would not remain, how much chance that they have worked for the company longer than six years? So here we also have the condition for those people who would not remain. From the table, we can see that eighty people belong to this range. So we only consider in this eighty people. So how much chance? That means how much percent of them they work for the company long, longer than six years? So we can see ten and thirty belong to this criteria. So our answer would be ten plus thirty together divided by eighty, give us fifty percent chance for this question. It is important to have the logic clear. That is the key for handling contingency table. It is not difficult. It is simple, but you have to make the logic clear. See you next time.